Hello and thank you for joining Paper Crafting with Tracy. Today we're going to be doing some water watercolor technique as well as some uh, embossing and it's kind of uh, a resist embossing. So I've done this in two different colors, a white and a black. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to get a piece of watercolor paper and what you want to do is get your stamp set. Now I'm using the Garden Wishes stamp set. This is what that looks like. And I'm going to take the dandelion and we'll get some memento black ink here. And we'll just ink up. Now you, ne you need to do this fairly quickly because what I'm going to do, I'll actually do it the other way around just because the stamp is larger than, uh, than my ink pad. So I'm going to stick that on. There we go. And now you want to take your, I'm using clear embossing powder. And this is the nice thing with the clear is you can use any uh, color ink and then just emboss it. So we'll just put some on there and I'll heat set it all in a moment. But I just wanted to get that on there right away. And then I'm just going to continue to use the black. And I've got a phrase. Your acts of kindness are like a breath of fresh air. Uh, last time I used the wishing you all the best, but I want to change things up a little bit. So I'll just ink that up. And I'm going to stick that down here in the bottom. There we go. And I'll put some embossing powder on that. Okay, and all you're going to notice is with the clear embossing powder is it kind of changes the black to a kind of a grayish color and when you emboss it it will just protect the ink especially when you um, are watercoloring and then I've got this little uh, stamp here that's just some um, stray dandelion seeds that are flying so we ink that up I think I'll just stick those up here and we'll put some embossing powder on that. Okay, now before you start heat setting this, make sure you always cover up your embossing powder. So I'll get my heat tool here. Turn it on. And this one, because it becomes kind of that gray color, when... Uh, the embossing powder has been set, it will turn more of a brighter black. So just as this warms up here, you'll start to see this color change. There, now it's starting to go. So I'll just hold that up, see if you can notice the difference there. see it changing there. And I'm just making sure that everything's heat set. And when you hold it up to the different light, you can see it, that it's been set. Okay, so now we're going to actually watercolor it. So I'm going to start with some granny apple green. And what you want to do before you open this is give the, contain the pad a bit of a squeeze. You can also do this with reinkers. So I end up with some in there in the lid. Um, with re -inkers, you can you can dab some on a clear block and then put that on there. Then I've got some water painters here that have just filled some with some water. Okay. And we'll just get some green on there. Okay. Now the trick with the watercolor 
is you want to make sure you get some water down into the um, end. So I've just squeezed a little bit and then I'm just going to start painting. But it is a watercolor, so you want to make sure you get quite a bit of, of water in there. And the more you spread it around, um, the lighter it will get. So I'll just spread all that around. Make sure I get in amongst this one. Okay, just like so. And it will dry a little bit lighter. So that's why I wanted to go over it fairly heavy. Just like so. So I'll move that one aside. And I'm going to add in my Pacific Point is what I'm using. Squeeze it so that I get some up in the lid like so. And we'll ink it up. And again, I'll just squeeze so you can see the water come down to the end. And then I'll start. And again, that seems really dark, so we'll just add a little bit more water. And then you can see it starts to lighten up right away. Add a bit more. Again, if that seems too dark, I'll just uh, squeeze so I don't know if you can see that the water comes down to the end and then just spread it out. And that's all there is to it. So I'll close that up. It doesn't actually take very long to dry. I'll just make sure I put this aside. But I will get my heating tool and just dry it up a little bit faster so that I can finish um, making this card. So just the bottom is almost already dry. And you can see it's already lightening up a little bit. Okay. So I'll just move that aside just for a moment, just to make sure it is dry. And you can see nothing went through to the back. And I've got some of the Pacific Point as my card base. And I've got the Granny Apple Green. So I'll start with the inside. So I'm just going to take some basic white and adhere that to the Granny Apple Green. And this, the basic white, is just your um, usual in here of the three and three quarters by five inch. And the granny apple green is the four by five and a quarter. And I've got a little bit of embossing powder there. Then I will adhere this to the card base. And your card base is just uh, taking a piece of eight and a half by 11 and uh, cutting it in half so that it is now five and a half um, by eight and a half and then you score it at the four and a quarter mark. So we'll stick that in there. And now with the front. So for this one I'm actually going to use the Stamp and Seal Plus just because the, the, the paper is a little bit heavier so that I get a good adherence. And I'm just putting this on the granny apple green. And then we'll put that onto the card. So it's actually a very quick technique. Now, the final thing that I did was I just took some Winkostella because I just wanted to add a little bit of glitter. Okay, so we'll just 
put some glitter in there, make sure I get some ink in there. And this is still a tiny bit wet, so it's actually turning the end of this blue tiny bit, but that's okay. We'll add a little bit of glitter to those, and we'll put some in the stems. There we go. And that's all there is to it. We'll fold it in half, and that's the card. So this one I did with white embossing powder, and these two I did with the black. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial with Paper Crafting with Tracy, and I hope you enjoy the uh, watercolor technique and the embossing technique. Happy stamping!